explain why you felt the need to read some of those foul comments that were directed toward local officials? Because I, you know, we in this, in this society today are demanding immediate results and we don't even know what we're talking about. And we're, we're castigating people that are trying to do the right thing, threatening them. I, I, they're, they're, this one's not the worst one. But does it change anything you reading those comments, especially? Yeah, I hope it gets everybody to realize how crazy we're getting. And that we need to create pause and that we need to understand that people just simply asking to let them do their job and don't rush to judgment and don't start, you know, creating this furor, you know, as it relates to this, just simply because they said, let them work through this process. But do you understand where some of that fear and angst comes from when you look at our nation as a whole, the history of our nation, when a young black man is shot to death and a white man who's admitted to killing him is sent home? Let me ask you, do you think if that, if that uh, victim would have been white that this would have been sent? Does it matter? Does the race matter? As a society, that's the point. And I know you're saying this needs to come to an end. It needs to come to an end. Do you understand where that fear and anger comes from? I was asked a question the other day after my 1 p.m. conference by a reporter. What can you say to me to make me feel safer that this is not going to happen to me vis-a-vis -a, -vis a white shooter? And I, my response to him was, well, if I look at the empirical data, black-on-black uh, -on -black murders in this parish are 78 percent of the murders are committed by uh, black perpetrators, and 78 percent of the victims of murder in this parish are black. So if we're just going to look statistically, your fear is, I mean, what you're trying to articulate right now is misdirected.